Over the years, the GMC Sierra has earned a reputation for being one of the most practical and dependable trucks on the market, but it hasn't exactly been known for being cutting edge. In 2019, that all changes. This truck is new front to rear and loaded with enough new features to make a gadget nerd like myself get pretty excited. But while it all sounds good on paper, the real question is, how does it actually work in the real world? And that's what we've come here to find out in beautiful Newfoundland to put it to the test. It all starts up front with this massive new grill, which in the Denali trim is wrapped in enough chrome to blind any woodland creature that has the misfortune of wandering in your path. And if that doesn't do it, the new LED lighting all around surely will. Fender badges now proudly advertise the size of your truck's engine, because there's of course no replacement for displacement. However, you won't need any badging to show just how big the truck itself is. The new Sierra is bigger in every way, and about an inch longer. But crucially, the wheelbase has grown by more than three inches, giving the truck an even shorter overhang than before. And despite that growth, it's about 360 pounds lighter than last year. But far and away, the coolest design feature of the 2019 Sierra is actually the tailgate, because they put a tailgate within a tailgate, and then there's another tailgate inside of that even. Now, of course, it opens like a normal thing, as you would expect in a high-end truck. Push the button, it slides down nice and smooth. But if you need a bed extender, because you want to do a sheet of drywall or something like that, push this button and flip up the inner tailgate and now you've actually got something that'll keep your load from sliding out of your bed. But when you're loading it and you maybe need a little bit more uh, help getting in the bed, push that button and the inner tailgate folds down. Now you've got this nice step stool that makes it really easy to climb up in and load things in the back as we were doing a little bit earlier. But if you've got something big and heavy that you want to put in here that maybe doesn't need to go all the way in the back, flip this up and now you can actually step inside the tailgate here and this may not look like much but when we were loading heavy objects actually it makes it easier to get it up inside the truck because you can just be that little bit closer to the bed of the truck itself. Fold this up, now you have a nice workspace. You can get your laptop on here or maybe when you're taking a lunch break put your drink on here as well. And then finally flip this up again You've got a bed extender again, but this time it's elevated. So if you've got a load of items on the bottom of your bed, you can then put drywall or two by fours on top of it and have a nice amount of cargo space, plus a lot of room too. It is a bit of a gimmick, but it actually works really, really well. Now, if your cargo needs have more to do with trailering than hauling, don't worry, GMC has an app for that. Actually, a couple of apps for that. Go to the infotainment system here, and there's a whole trailering section. And in here, you can actually define a new trailer and basically set it up, give it a descriptive name so you remember it, like Bob. And then you can say what kind of trailer it is, if it's a fifth wheel or gooseneck, or we're just going with a conventional trailer here. Then you can define all the attributes about that so the truck knows what to expect. Now, I went ahead and defined one earlier called boat, because that's what we're going to be hauling. And once you start the process, you then have this checklist that you can go through. And this checklist is basically specially calibrated based on the type of information you provided before. So as I go through, it'll tell me to check the hitch. But if I were using a gooseneck, for example, it'd give me different information here. And this is kind of rudimentary stuff, making sure you have your chain connected and everything else. But, you know, if you do this a lot, it's sometimes pretty easy to forget this stuff. And it's nice to have it all referenced right in place. But the best part is when you put it into reverse, now, of course, we've got 360 cameras on here, and that'll help me to line up my ball hitch with the trailer, which is right behind me here. You can see I get this nice line that's telling me where it is. And as I get closer, I can actually zoom in. Now, look at this. I got this nice overhead view of the ball hitch. As I go in a little bit closer, oh, I think that's good. So now I put it in park. The truck will automatically engage the parking brake for me so it won't creep back that extra inch which will screw you up when you're trying to hook up your boat. And then you just got to connect everything and drive away. Once connected, the truck can wirelessly monitor things like trailer tire pressures and even temperatures. And if you spring for the optional detachable rear view camera, you can pop it on the back of your Airstream and have a nice view at all the little people stuck behind you in traffic. The Sierra Denali and AT4 crew cab with the biggest motor, the 6.2 liter V8, will tow up to 9,300 pounds. But if you opt for the Sierra SLT in that same configuration, you can pull a maximum of 12,100 pounds. We're in a top shelf Denali, so of course we've got the big 6.2 V8. And on the road, 
It's got plenty of power to move this thing, especially when we're not towing anything, as we are not at the moment. It'll accelerate really quickly, and while it's not the most exciting sounding V8, you can option out a sport exhaust you want a little bit more throaty noise coming from the thing. But it's really quick to accelerate and also really comfortable to drive. The Sierra has always been known as one of the best on-road trucks in the market. And with the new generation, that hasn't changed at all. It's still very quiet compared to other full-size trucks, but very comfortable. It handles the bumps really well. And its adaptive suspension means that whether or not you're towing, whatever you're hauling, it'll always adjust itself and still give a really compliant and confidence-inspiring drive. So the driving experience may be familiar for Sierra owners from before, but the technology, that is all new. It's using the latest generation of GMC's IntelliLink system, which is one of the best infotainment systems on the market right now. You can do both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay if you want to bring your own, but if you don't, the navigation system in here is actually really good and very snappy and responsive, which is still sadly pretty rare today. It's also connected to a really great Bose sound system, and you can even get speakers in the bed. Take that, Ridgeline. It's all controlled through a dashboard that, yeah, it has a lot of buttons, but they're all nicely laid out. For example, all the drivetrain stuff is up here, high, in my line of sight, and not buried down under the dashboard like on a lot of other trucks. I've also got USB-A and USB-C ports all over the place, plus a 220 outlet here for getting some work done. But the big story is just how big it is in here. I've got miles of headroom, and they've added three inches of legroom in the back. Frankly, the old truck was not lacking. They've also got cubby spaces everywhere, meaning you can lose stuff all over the place in here. At the end of the day, it's hard to not be impressed by just how far the Sierra's come in 2019, going from frankly remedial in many respects to just about head of the class. But despite all the new toys in here, this still has that great blend of comfort and capability that's made the Sierra so popular for so long. In other words, this Denali still drives like a Denali, just a whole lot better.